Hello, this is Cam Kitchen and today I'm going to be analysing the front page, contents page and double page spread of a music magazine. This is the masthead. All of the colours are the same as the masthead, other than the flash. The colour red shows that the magazine is passionate about music and bands that are shown in the magazine. In addition, the masthead sounds like you're saying enemy, which has connotations of danger and anger, although it denotes new musical express. This is the main image. This shows the audience who will be in the magazine. Also, it will attract fans of the band. This image also represents an ideal self as Alex Turner was and still is a very popular musician who people aspire to be like. This is the main cover line. The main cover line gives the main image a meaning as it is an anchor. Furthermore, it follows the colour palette of the magazine because it's red and white, which could be representing innocence and anger in the band. In addition, the way that the text is written puts Alex Turner above Miles Kane. From the pull quote, we can see the interview is mostly about Alex Turner. This is probably why. This is a pull quote. This shows the audience some of the things that will be in the article. Also, it's in a different font, so it looks like it's been pulled right out of the article and dropped onto the front cover. This is the banner. There is yellow text mixed with a red background making the banner look dangerous. This is seen throughout the magazine front cover as the colour palette is red, black, white and yellow. This is the left third. The left third is there so that the audience can see the cover lines and masthead when the magazine is stacked. This is the cover line. The cover lines have been placed in the left third so that the audience will be able to see them when they are stacked. In addition, all of the band names are in red. This suggests that the bands are rebellious because of the connotations of red. This is the department head. Like the puff, this department head looks like it's broken because of how loud the magazine is yelling it at the audience. In addition, the yellow banner has connotations to explosions, further emphasising the energy of the magazine. This is the table of contents. The table of contents uses a lot of anchorage as the page numbers are right next to the titles of the articles. However, we wouldn't know this if it wasn't for the juxtaposition. In addition, the use of black, red and yellow represents the genre of music the magazine is trying to represent, as the colours red and yellow represent blood, violence and energy, and the colour black can represent death. This is the puff. The yellow looks like an explosion which suits the style of Kerrang, as Kerrang is supposed to be exploding out of the magazine and at the audience. This makes the magazine look energetic. It is also anchored by the main cover line, as we can see you can win a pair of Kill em All fans. This is the Impressum. This shows us the makers of the magazine, and because of how the image is presented, it gives off a feeling that this magazine covers metal bands. This is the art. The art in this magazine contents page makes the magazine look like it's shouting at you even more because of the 3D effect, which makes it stand out. Moreover, the same outfits tell us that they are Metallica, along with the anchoring of the main cover line. Also, one of the band members are looking directly at the audience. This suggests that they are directly communicating the message that they are Metallica, and directing this exploding department right at them. Furthermore, the use of black and white represents the genre of music they own. This is the art and pull quote. We can see from the art that this magazine is focusing on a rock audience because of the black background, eyeshadow and leather jacket. The pull quote and the art anchor to show us that she is saying, I'm not one for advice, I'm one for mistakes. Also, the verso page is completely full with the artwork. In addition, the pull quote is highlighted by a pink highlighter, which makes it look even more important. This is the recto page. The recto page is in a different colour to the verso page and makes it look like a piece of glasses over the art. This makes the double page spread look like the recto page has been vandalised by the woman in the verso page. This makes the woman appear even more reckless and careless than what the deck and the headline show. This is the headline. In the headline, the font for Wild is different to the font for Child. This is because the font for Wild has denotations of lipstick, which shows forms of rebellion, and is also in pink, which has connotations of being feminine. In addition, the Child font is neat and is in white as it represents how children are innocent. This is the deck. This gives a brief overview of the whole story. 
Moreover, with all of the use of pink, it shows how this article would most likely be targeted at a female audience. This is a drop capital. The colour of this drop capital shows us that this will be a feminine article. This is because of the connotations of pink.